you know, that like the sort of group of guys that they were picking from. And look, I, I, I think they did pretty good overall. I know we have our grades that go in Sunday's paper and it's always first reaction. And, you know, I mean, really it takes three years. I think we can both judge, to, uh, agree on that, that it takes three years to judge a draft. I gave them a B. You gave them B minus. a B minus. So we gave them pretty high marks. I, I think yeah. I like what they did overall. You know, they, they hit the trenches. I think they, they made the right pick, safe picks, but the right pick. Uh, at the top of the draft, and that's where they're going to get some contributors this year. You know, I, the way you look at this, and I'm, I'm sort of, I mean, I think everybody would like to have been wowed by, you know, Quinn coming in, coming in here, making all these trades, getting the number three pick, and, and all Wizardry, this stuff. getting up and getting your yeah, yeah, you know, but you know what? He's a rookie GM, okay? So, you know, being safe is a smart course here, and we'll see what happens down the line, if he's going to be safe or more aggressive at other times. But that's what he did. He filled up some some needs in the trenches, some depth. Uh, that can that never hurts. They're not a player away either, so there was no reason to go up. And I don't know that there was that star caliber player in the draft. You know, I, if Long they, had they moved up for Laramie Tunsil, I, I wouldn't have faulted them for that. I think yeah, everybody in the NFL smokes marijuana, and you know why not take the best player if he fell to you? But whatever. Regardless, beyond that's beside the point. Ten players, a lot of help on on both lines. They got bigger, they got stronger, more physical. Yeah. That's the type of team you're going to see from the Detroit Lions under Bob Quinn. All right, let's, uh, as we seem to do every year, Carlos, uh, favorite pick of the draft, least favorite pick of the draft, let's start at number one, or best pick of the draft, let's, let's phrase it that way. Who was the best pick of the draft in your eyes for the Lions? Uh, I I think that the the sleeper pick, in a way, a little bit, is going to be Graham Glasgow. And did I ask sleeper? That was going to be number three. three? Best pick. Best pick. Fine. Well, we'll, we'll okay. combine them. Best pick. I, I'm going to say best pick is Graham Glasgow, because he's going to be a little bit under the radar. I think he's going to beat out Travis Watson for the center job. I think that, you know, he's done a lot. He's overcome a lot. Um, he's versatile, too. Yeah. And I think he's a smart player. He's also going to be, by the way, he's going to be a locker room favorite, not only with players, but with media, too. He's a really smart, funny guy. Glasgow was a good pick. I, I sign off on that one. I, you know, I mentioned him early on, or last Sunday, I guess, as a possibility when I do my little three scenarios at that, that pick in the third round. I just thought... You know, he's a bigger center, had some versatility, like you said, could play some guard. Don't know exactly what's going to happen with Larry Warford after this year. I think the best pick the Lions made, and I think Taylor Decker was a fine pick at 16, but the best pick in my eyes was the second-round pick, at least for the value, A'shaun Robinson. Yep. You know, probably a first-round pick.